text the operator to come down here and they'll have a look in to make sure that the bed's burning properly. Even though they have the cameras, they'll make sure they don't see any large deposits or any hang up on the floor. You gotta be careful of that too once in a while. Welcome to Green Energy Futures, your guide to the green energy revolution that's already underway. Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. This week we head to the small town of Boyle, Alberta to check out a big biomass project. It's the Alberta Pacific Forest Industries Pulp Mill. This is the largest pulp mill in North America, but it also produces 95 megawatts of electricity from its waste. Daryl Nickel is the Vice President of Pulp at LPAC. He took us up high so we could survey the site. Welcome to LPAC, David. We're standing here on the 11th floor of the recovery boiler. LPAC started construction in 1991. We made saleable pulp in 1993. We are still the largest single line craft mill in North America today. In the background over here, that's our wood yard. That's probably one of the largest wood yards in the world. All of our fiber is received by truck. And it's processed through what we call a gentle feed system. Any of the waste hog, uh, what we call hog, is basically biomass, that's bark, fines. All of that goes into this biomass pile over here. That is all fed into our power boiler. Our power, and basically from that we generate steam and we generate electricity. The scale of this place is immense. The pulp digester is 20 stories tall. The wood yard is the largest in North America. Cranes pick up entire truckloads of logs in just two scoops. Giant bulldozers move around huge piles of wood chips. It would make a great set for a science fiction movie. It's easy to understand why these projects served as the environmental flashpoints of their time. But out of that strife came new forest management techniques, and today, Alpac produces green energy for the grid. Alpac produces craft hardwood pulp, and 15% uh, uh, of our product is uh, softwood, which uh, basically goes into a variety of products. Some of those you use in your household every day, tissue, writing paper. And, and uh, we also produce another uh, revenue stream, that's power. We sell electricity to the, uh, to the Alberta uh, grid, so that's another one of our uh, main revenue opportunities. A pulp mill is part biorefinery. Full logs are debarked and fed into a chipper, and those chips go through a digesting process to make pulp. Leftover are chemicals called black liquor and hog fuel, consisting of waste wood and bark. The pulp mill actually has three power plants in it. A recovery boiler that burns leftover black liquor, a power boiler that burns the hog fuel, and LPAC recently added a 32 megawatt biomass fired condensing steam turbine to produce electricity for the grid. All in, LPAC can produce a maximum of 95 megawatts of electricity, and the plant itself uses 55 megawatts to operate. We are. We are a peaker plant. Uh, so uh, the prices for us right there now is approximately 38 bucks a megawatt for us to be able to export power here economically. On an annual basis from selling power to the grid between 14 and 18 million dollars. Uh, we also uh, sell uh, credits and those credits will bring in revenue of approximately two million dollars. Uh, we also receive bioproducer credits under the Alberta uh, Bioproducer Credit Program and that equates to about seven million dollars on an annual basis. LPAC's forest management area is 63,000 square kilometers in size, fully one-tenth of Alberta. They harvest 2.56 million cubic meters of deciduous aspen, poplar, and birch, and another 825,000 cubic meters of coniferous spruce and pine. And it's all to produce this stuff, pulp. It's not much to look at in its unprocessed form, but about 1,900 tons per day of that pulp gets shipped via rail all over the world and turned into all kinds of paper products. We produce approximately 650,000 ADMT, air dry metric tons of pulp on an annual basis. And we'll sell approximately 70,000, 80,000 uh, megawatts of power onto the, onto the grid. Our capability is much higher. Uh, for, for the plant, but uh, the prices aren't there. We're in a deregulated market, so we're basically, uh, we'll support the grid in times of need, 
and uh, when our marginal input costs are met. Alpac's annual pulp sales are $350 million. They bring in $18 million a year for being a peak producer of electricity for Alberta's grid. Add to that $2 million in carbon credit sales and another $7 million in Alberta bioproducer credits that end in 2016. The scale of this place is impressive. But forestry as an industry isn't doing too hot. In one decade, 118,000 jobs have disappeared. While burning biomass for electricity isn't a panacea, it's definitely one way forward. In Finland, their big pulp and paper mills turned into utilities. Now Finns get almost one-third of their electricity from industrial generators. There's lots more information on this operation and big biomass in general at our website. Check out our blog, photos, and our podcast at greenenergyfutures.ca. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and tell your friends. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. If you like this video, check out our episode on Echo Haven, an amazing near net zero neighborhood that's a model of green suburban development. And if you're still here listening, subscribe to our videos. We produce a new green energy future story every two weeks.